Hey there, this is Max here again. Welcome to another workflows video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a streaming card action. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm going to create a new flow and I'm going to call the streaming main. Main. Now the card that I'm going to use, so let's find Octum. So in this one, I'm going to again show you how to set up a streaming action. And then in the next video, which is sort of related to this one, I'm going to spend more time on showing you how to figure out the JSON that you get from the streaming action, right? So the JSON that you get from each record as you iterate over uh, the records. So let's see here. Let's find something with users. So um, actually, let's do the search. Let's see, search list users with search. Um, let's try this one. And then we can see as a streaming matching records option. Now, what I usually do before I try the streaming, actually, I select this just to just to test to see if it will return um, data. I don't need these properties, so the status is fine. And let's do suspended, for example. And let's click test. All right, so we can see I get three users who are suspended. So once I switch to streaming, those us users will be streamed to the helper flow. Okay, um, let me, I can collapse this just to make it a little bit easier. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create a helper flow and uh, let's call this streaming helper. Now to make a flow helper flow, the first event will be helper flow. All right. And now to make it um, a helper flow that works with the streaming action, um, two things we need to do. So first, well, two inputs we need to define. The first one is called record, right? And has to be exactly like this. And then the type, this is important, has to be object. So this is the record, the each record that's going to be sent to the helper flow. And another input has to be a state. Uh, it also has to be of type object. So the types are important. And I'm gonna also show you how this works, but this allows you to pass any additional information to the helper flow. That's not uh, necessarily part of the uh, streaming, uh, streaming records, okay? All right, but um, that's it for the helper flow. Um, we might add another card here, but for now, this is fine. Let's go back. And uh, we've got the main. And so now I'm going to go to options and change this to streaming. Now, the reason I first created uh, the helper flow is because if um, once I switch to streaming, it will require me to choose a helper flow. And if I don't have one, it won't let me save. That's why I usually create the helper flow first and then come back here. Let's click, let's find streaming. All right, and that's all you need to do. You need you don't need to set up you know what parameters if you've used for each, for example, before. You don't need to do any of that setup. You know what data is sent to the helper flow. Uh, so the entire record with the streaming. Uh, action card will be sent to the helper flow. All right, uh, so we save, we can open the helper flow. Let's just double, let's well, turn this on. Let's uh, double check that I got the history on. This is good. Let's go here. Let's uh, also double check we got the history on. Let's turn this on and let's run this. So here it says how many records were streamed. If you remember, we only had three users, so this is number three. They go here. I have three runs here, which for each user. So this is the first one. So as you can see, this is the this is the object and the JSON that was sent into the passed into the helper flow. All right. So this is, and then here is another one. All right. Now. Let's 
uh, add a little uh, step here. Let's say we want to uh, get one of the values. So let's say we want to get, let's see here, um, the login. All right, so the login and let's say we get what else? Um, uh, first name. So what we could do is, and I'm going to cover this in more detail in another video that I'm going to link in the description of this one, but let's do at multiple and then let's connect the object. And then I already forgot what I wanted to do. Um, <laughs> um, let's quickly switch here. It was, I think it was email, right? Or first name, first name and uh, what else? Email, that's fine. Let's do first name and email. So first name, um, you can specify a type here. In this case, it's just a string and then email, right? So let's go history. Let's go back here. Let's give this another run. All right. Go back to helper and now we can see uh, we got those properties from the object and so now you can process this object right so you can get its id you can do something with the user id um, whatever you need right this is just an example here with retrieve value from uh, from that um, record the current record all right last thing i wanted to show you is how do we uh, work with that status. Uh, let me go back. I know there's a lot of switching. It's a state. I'm sorry, state. Um, so this is again allows you to pass any additional data to the um, helper flow. So let's do two things. We'll pass two things. Um, account. Um, just that's just a number and some text, which is a string. Back. Now here we're going to define, so those numbers need to, uh, values need to match exactly. And in fact, this is also, we should customize here. This is count. This is also important that the name has to match and we can do 10. And then this is text. I from the main flow. All right save let's go back here let's do a sign like using a sign just to get the values and so let's do count and text uh, you, you'll be able to see them here but i just like using a sign so kind of you can see the the data that you passed uh, using the assign card so let's save and let's test all right, same three objects streamed. Let's go to history. And so same, right, three objects, three runs here. But now we got the count and the text also with each, each execution. We're being passed uh, this data. All right, so that's what you use uh, state for. Um, all right, that's all I wanted to show you. Again, the purpose here was to show you how to set up the streaming action. And again, I'm going to have a next, another video, which will spend more time on understanding the JSON that is being passed into the helper flow. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.